Hey guys, as promised, I am sharing how I made Herbalife pizza. So this recipe, I'm actually going to double a recipe for one pizza since I'm making two. We do have a pretty big family um, and we are experimenting. So I'm going to experiment with a double uh, recipe. So I'm doing two eggs and then I'm going to add uh, protein baked goods, not vanilla PDM, but protein baked goods. And I am doubling, so I'm going to be doing four scoops of the baked goods. And once I get the four scoops of baked goods, I'm going to start adding some seasoning. So I'm going to start with some onion powder. And then I'm going to add some complete seasoning. And then I'm going to add some garlic powder and some oregano. And honestly, you can season this the way you like. I know some people use Italian seasoning. Some people add some salt. Um, but this is what I'm going to be using to create the flavor in my pizza crust. And once I get all my seasonings, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Now, I don't have an exact measurement for water because just like when I'm making waffles or cake or anything in that matter, um, the consistency is always different and I'm not sure why even if I measure. So I have learned just to keep adding a little bit of water as I go until I get the texture that I'm looking for. And with the pizza, you are looking for a very doughy texture um, that you can actually, you know, like uh, spread out like it's bread, be like you're making bread, because that's basically what we're doing with the protein baked goods. We are creating um, the crust. That way we have a healthier option other than ordering takeout pizza or ordering some bagels or bread. Don't worry, I'll have those recipes coming as well. But um, this is going to be a game changer in my family because bread seems to be weakness here. So, oh, especially pizza too. But you're going to want your consistency to look like this. You see how it's very doughy? And now I'm going to get my parchment paper. And now this is going to look a little crazy. I totally should have measured the paper, but I was really excited to get this going and to make pizza for my kids and for us to enjoy. So I just kind of ripped the piece off um, to start my first pizza crust. Again, I totally should have measured these papers, but... I'm going to cut this dough in half and I'm going to start making my first crust. Now, if you use your hands, um, I would suggest rubbing just a little olive oil on your hands so that it does not stick to you. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it directly onto this paper and just start creating um, my pizza crust. So you can make this however you want. You can make it as a square, as a circle, as a heart, any way that you prefer. You just go ahead and do that. I'm going to make too many circle pizzas. So this is going to be the first one. And I am just going to go ahead and it is thick and sticky, um, but just kind of hold the paper down as you're forming whatever you want your crust to be formed as and again I'm just doing a regular circular pizza and you just have to smooth it out now I could have definitely made this pizza bigger because it did rise pretty thick um, but I don't know about you I like hand tossed pizza to where my crust is pretty thick so it came out perfect for me, but I know others, you could definitely um, thin it out more and make it a bigger pizza, and it'll be just as good. But this one here, we were experimenting, and um, it came out fabulous, actually. So just thin it out as much as you want. 
And also, you can add personalized protein into this. I would use the protein um, baked goods scooper to do that. It does give it kind of a, a greenier um, taste. I don't know. Grainy is not a taste. <laughs> a grainier feel, a different taste, definitely. Uh, it's, so, it's still very, very, very good, but you can totally tell that you add the personalized protein. So if you are a personalized protein user, go ahead and add that scoop um, in there along with this recipe. But me, on the other hand, for my kids and everyone else, I'm just doing regular protein baked goods. And now I'm going to go ahead and start my second pizza. And again, it's just going to be another circular one. So I'm going to spread that out into the size and shape and thickness of my desire. And it's just going to be another circular one. And I love these silicone spoons, by the way. If you don't have silicone spoons, you should definitely invest in some. I will drop some links below for a couple of the things that I've used in this video, as I usually do, just to make it easier for people to find things or even um, just to have a glimpse of the picture, if that helps you when you're out shopping. So like I said, I should have a totally measured parchment paper but I was just really excited. So you're gonna see me folding the paper and also cutting off some of the ends so that they fit together into the oven. Um, I am gonna have to try this recipe again. I just got a brand new air fryer and really excited about that. So I'm gonna try some recipes with the air fryer as well and I'll share it with you guys. Um, but for right now, we're putting this in the oven as soon as I can get this paper cut down to where it fits nicely. Um, it's not going to be perfect. i just trim this off really quickly because I'm really excited about trying this pizza. And now that I have it trimmed, I'm going to place the pizzas next to each other. And then you will see me lift the tray to go place it in the oven. Mind you, I did have the oven preheating while I was mixing the batter, so I wouldn't have to wait. So that is a good tip. Preheat your oven while you're starting your batter. Place it in the oven um, at 350 for 20 minutes. And while I had um, my pizzas in the oven, the crust... I decided that I'm going to do one uh, veggie pizza for my husband and I, and then the other one will be um, just regular, you know, pizza and cheese. So I don't know about you, but green peppers on pizza, I don't know if it's the crunch, I don't know, but we love green peppers on any kind of pizza that we get. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up some green peppers. And of course, I'm going to chop up the whole half because I'm obviously going to make more pizza. And if I don't make pizza, you can always use these with um, cooking some eggs or some egg whites for your healthy snack the next day. You know, vegetables are amazing. You can just do so many things with them. So cut up what you have. Always have them ready. I have learned if you do not prep your vegetables, then they're going to stay in the fridge and go bad. <laughs> so don't be that person that buys produce and then don't eat it. After my green pepper, I am going to get a tomato. Love tomatoes on everything. Going to chop up the tomato and add it over there with my green pepper. And then once I get the tomatoes chopped up, I'm going to move on to my next vegetable. Which is an onion. Now when I was cutting this onion, I got this brilliant idea of making, um, like recreating that barbecue chicken pizza from Papa John's because it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to have to try that one too and add these onions on there. 
But like I said, with these pizzas, you can choose the kind that you want to try to make. Just remember, it is a healthier option. So choose healthy options for your pizzas. And now that I have my onions done, I decided I'm going to put these mushrooms to use. And I'm just going to chop these up a little, not a lot, just a little. And I will add that to my plate of vegetables as well. If you like mushrooms on your pizza, drop it below. Because my family likes to make me think that I'm the only one that likes mushrooms on my pizza. Besides my husband, he'll eat any kind of pizza I want. <laughs> but I have my mushrooms chopped up. I'm just going to add that to my plate of vegetables. See how beautiful nicely prepped vegetables for pizza number one now after the 20 minutes of the pizza cooking you're going to take the crust out don't turn off the oven though just take the crust out and we are going to start topping them. Um, but we are going to put them back in the oven for a little bit. So I would suggest to not turn the oven off. Now with our first pizza, I am going to do pesto. And I will put just enough to be able to cover the entire crust. I love pesto. Look how beautiful that looks. All right. And after we get the pesto um, on mine and my husband's pizza, we're going to move on to pizza number two, where we're just going to use um, the fire roasted pizza sauce. You can usually find these in the spaghetti aisle, um, but I'm pretty sure I can find a link for you and link it below. And after we get the pizza sauce all nicely thinned out, we can start putting our toppings on the pizza. And I chose to use um, the mozzarella that we keep in the house. It's just a healthier option. And other than that, it tastes really good. And my kids just love cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle this over both pizzas. Um, over the pesto as well as the regular pizza that we'll be making if you like extra cheese put extra cheese or you can just thin out the layer and now I am going to start toppings I have one daughter who loves pepperoni and another daughter who loves cheese and another daughter that will eat absolutely anything we give her. So I'm going to do a half and half pizza on this side for them. And then I'm on ours, I'm going to start adding our vegetables. So I have my onions first and then my freshly cut tomatoes. And after the tomatoes, I will add in my green peppers. And once the green peppers are on there, we will finish off with our mushrooms. See how beautiful that is? Like, why do you even have to order out once you start learning how to do this stuff yourself? And now that we have two beautiful topped pizzas... We're going to get them together and place them back into the oven. But this time we're just going to leave it in there for 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted at your desire. If you want it a little darker, crusty, burnt a little bit, you know, some people like it that way, um, then you can wait a little longer. But 10 minutes was perfect. We pick them right up and place them on some cutting boards. I was very impressed by how these came out, especially this one. It just looks so good. 
All right. And since this is my first time making the pizzas, I am going to just go ahead and record ourselves cutting it up and getting ready to eat it. Just so you guys can see. And you can see the how thick it is um, once you cut them. But I'm just really in awe by how these came out. Look how pretty it is. Very proud of myself on this one. I was very anxious to try it too. My kids, they just kept talking about how good it smelled. So that's a plus. Is getting your kids... Um, you know, to start trying this kind of stuff. And even if you don't want them to know that it's healthy, just make it and let them have some. They don't know. It's that good that they will not know that it's a healthier option of pizza. So now I am going to go ahead and cut our slices. And this is pizza number one. And let's move on to pizza number two. I'm also going to make a video for cheese bread. You know when you order pizza, you also order cheesy bread or breadsticks or whatever. I actually... Right after I made these pizzas, I made cheesy bread. So I will have to share that recipe as well. I did record it, so I will be posting it. Um, just turn on your notifications, subscribe and turn on notifications, and it will let you know when I post that video. So I will be posting that one soon. But look how thick this pizza is. I was so mind blown. It was so delicious. I highly suggest that you pizza lovers make this.